The next thing we're going to do with the white menu here as we work our way down is work with discussions. Something you can set up with the students is have an online discussion. And they can be graded or not graded. Um, so what you're going to do here is this plus discussion sign. Just click on that. And you're going to get the, um, the editor here. So you can type your topic. So I'm going to just call it discussion one. And then if you want to add a little bit more details you can go here whether it's a video you want them to watch you can actually import a video if it's a picture you want them to think about you can have them add a picture you can add a picture if it's a website you want to visit you can link your URL and then type in your directions and then if you want to attach something you can choose from the attached and then down here you got a few more options you can allow threaded replies which um, are replies that stay within each other uh, users can post before seeing replies. I always do that so students do not read and then copy a post. They actually have to think for themselves before they post. Um, it can be graded, which then gets added to the gradebook like an assignment. And if you wanted students to like, you could do that as well. Uh, if it's a group discussion, you can assign it to a group, which we could talk about later. And you can assign it when it's available, so students can only have access to this discussion during certain times. And once that's done, you just hit Save and Publish, or Save, and that discussion will then show up under Discussions. And it'll look like this at first, uh, and then any replies can happen here. So a student then will have to hit Reply, and then they can reply here to their discussion. And you can reply, and they can reply, and it'll show their picture next to it. And there's some settings, so you can delete the comment if for some reason a comment isn't one that followed the rules. Um, you can edit the question again. Um, you can close it automatically if you don't want to go to the dates, and there you have it. But when you click on discussions again then up here, you're going to see then a list of discussions. So um, here it is right here, discussion one. I can pin it, which means the pinned means it just stays there forever, and so it'll stay there throughout the rest of the course. Or if you want to move it closed for comments, that way. So it's also click and draggable. So if you want to move it to where it's always available, if you want to have a fun ongoing current events discussion, that could go there and kids can constantly post and have a place to share stories and have discussions about stories. Or once you're done with it, you can just move it to the closed for comments. They can still click and look at it, but they can't comment on it. So if there's some good information there that you want students to go back to, that would be one way to do it. And if you want it to be live and ready to go, you click on Discussions. And that is how you use Discussions.